Well, imagine turning on your faucet and take a look at this right here. You see this coming out of the faucet, brown water filling up water pitchers and bathtubs. People living in Salem, Indiana say it's been their reality out of the tap for far too long. Now the city's addressing the problem, starting a six day cleansing of its entire water system. All new right here on the night team. Focus reporter Travis Breeze attended a public works meeting tonight to find out when people will see improvements. As the system wide flushing has been going on since Sunday, some people have seen improvements while others are still waiting for things to clear up. One thing that we heard loudly at this meeting on Monday is that residents don't want the city to treat this as a one time occurrence. It looked horrible due to iron and manganese, but it's purely cosmetic. The statement so many Salem residents have been struggling to accept. People have been sending us pictures for five weeks of discolored water, saying their city is ignoring it. Monday, we saw Mayor Justin Green face to face with those residents. The problem at hand there a month ago was quite a problem that uh, was fixed. Uh, the pocketed areas is what is still uh, giving us uh, the crews and some uh, residents some fits. The city says it's tracking down the last pockets of discolored water, but the only way to do it was an entire system flush. That started Sunday at noon and may last until Saturday. Before the meeting, Mark Radke showed us two jars, the left from his outside tap and the right from his inside industrial filter. Yeah, that's the best color I've seen in a year or better. Others yet to see any improvements. This is what color it came out today. Misty Wells says the bottle on the left came from her tap Monday and the bottle on the right straight from a local creek. I've been dealing with it off and on for a year and a half. Cody Halstead used his time to list the city's violations for under testing and under reporting a few years ago and begged for them to do better. It's frustrating that you continue to downplay how severe this is. Will you be providing them with reimbursement for their soiled clothing? Because it's not an isolated incident at this point. Once the system wide flushing is over, Public Works employees said it will not be a completely clean system, but they do but think they do it will think have it dramatic, dramatic improvements. In Salem, Travis Breeze for the WHS 11 night team on your side. Well, Travis and our focus team started looking into the brown water issues in Salem after receiving a viewer tip. If there's a story you'd like them to investigate, here's how to reach us by email. Focus at WHAS11.com.